Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about tuning these Thunderslot cars. Like we said in the past, uh, these cars don't need a whole lot, but a little bit goes a long way on race day. A lot of advanced tuners out there have just really made rockets out of these things, even though they're almost that way out of the box. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to start with is a tire change. Now, although the stock tires are excellent tires, a lot of clubs like them. Uh, I prefer the silicone on my track surface. So I'm going to be changing to this Quick Slicks tires. They hook up great on the track. Second thing people have asked me about lead weight. Um, as you can see here, I have some lead sheeting, some roof lead that I ordered a roll quite a few years ago. And what I like to do is 3M makes this double-sided adhesive tape and uh, either the 300 LSE or the 468, it doesn't matter. And uh, I cut them in sheets like this and I apply the lead to one side. And then you have this once you cut it and trim it. And now you got to do is cut this to whatever size you want and peel the paper off. And it, it's adhesive sticks very well to the chassis. Speaking of this chassis, we're going to make a few mods inside here. Things that I like to do. We're going to take our Dremel here just a little bit. We'll show you that in just a second. We're going to set up the front end. I'm using a setup block right now. My braid is pretty flush, so this usually is a good starting point. But we'll weigh it, um, we put before and after we're going to do the weights, uh, just so you can see the difference. And we're going to see if we can make a even a faster hot rod out of this. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. Okay, my lap times are a little bit off here as I've been testing as I go, but uh, the last one, 3.92, the tires were starting to go away a little bit. And I got a best lap of 3788, which is not bad. So uh, let's put that in perspective here. That's not really that bad on this track. So not bad car. We had a little bit of chatter there. That's all tire. That's the one thing about these tires is they do need some truing. If you don't true them, sometimes you'll get some of these tires from them that, uh, slightly out of round they just need a little bit of truing and it takes a while you pretty much sand away all the tread design at least i do to get them true and that's why i just go straight to silicone and that's what we're going to do but now we've got a benchmark time something to see if we can beat now it's time to tune so now we'll talk about some chassis mods uh, if you can see right here i've removed these tabs that hold the magnets in place we don't use magnets so just using an exacto blade I've cleaned those off pretty much to flush, flush as I could get them, and the lead will lay down here nicely. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some lead. Now you could remove this post right here the same way this is where your uh, mounting screw goes for your base. If you don't care about that, you can take it away. I was going to do that, but I'm just gonna show you how I put the lead in here, leaving it in place. So let's get to that. Okay, apologize for the light, but I just want to show you how I make a template for my lead on some spaces that are kind of a little bit tricky and you want to make them, you know, as accurate as you can. What I do is I start with a piece of paper. I'm just using printer paper here. Any paper will do. And I kind of cut it by sight just to get it as close as it can be. And then uh, what we do is I hold it over a light source, as you can see, the, uh, the shadow there. Uh, usually I use my cell phone real easy, but hey, I'm using that right now, so I can't. So anyway, a little light source right there. And once you get that, when you're over that, you can draw your lines with a Sharpie or any pen. And then you have a pretty good template for the lead you have to cut. Hope that helps you. Okay, so as you can see, we have the lead placed in here. You can see how I use the template. Drill the hole there, mark the hole. Put another piece back behind here, another three grams. A few pieces up front. That seems to be a good setup on our track. So we're looking at about 54 to 55 grams. Some people like it heavier, uh, some lighter. It's all gonna depend on your own track. So using lead is just, uh, it's trial and error and it's test. You test and you see what works the best on your own track. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this one as is. We're gonna change some tires and finish it up. Okay, we're gonna talk about aftermarket tires. My choice is silicone and that means quick slicks. Now for this size, I use the TS-03F in the firm compound and that's because it has a slightly lower 
um, outside diameter than the TS04. And the reason for that is, is the clearance between the tires and the body. So when you have a test fit the car, you'll notice that it could be real close to rubbing. So I just decided to go with the uh, lower diameter 03s and that did the trick. Okay, going to talk about the front end a little bit. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm adding shims on each side here to reduce the free play. When these uh, wheels are fully pressed on, there's a little bit of free play there. So I like to shim them up. Now I use the nylon spacers from Soccer Corner, but you can make your own or use any type you want. Uh, these wheels are twist and pull pressure fit on these axles and they're not very tight. So what I like to do is I install the first side here and I use a little bit of clear nail polish, just a drop, put it in there, let it dry for a while. Now I'm gonna slip my shim on, put it in here, put the shim on the other side and do the same with this wheel and we'll be good to go. All right, so I have that installed pretty easy. You can see almost all the free play is gone. I added a little bit of uh, lubricant right here next to the set screws on each side. Very free spinning, nice and tight, not a lot of slot. Final thing we want to talk about is the front ride height of your front axle here. As you know, you can adjust them with the screws here and here, and then on the bottom, you have your screws here and here, so you can fine tune the ride height. Now for my track, my personal taste, I have the tires just barely touching the track. You can see that they're touching, but they're not supporting a lot of weight. So that seems to be the sweet spot of my track. Now you're gonna hear arguments both ways. You know, you don't want them to support, you do want them to support the friction between the tires and the braid, etc. So you're gonna hear arguments either way. The only thing I can tell you is to set it up to where it suits you and you get your best lap times. So there's no right or wrong way, only the way you choose. So whatever works for you, that's good. So we've got it set up here, that's the way I'm gonna leave it, and we're gonna give it a test. Oh yeah. I gotta tell you, what a difference. We've really got this thing a lot faster now. 3.310 for the best lap. That's pretty good even with me driving. Imagine if you're driving. I mean, somebody who knows how to drive. Look at that. So we really cut some lap times down. Just a tire change. That lead weight is so critical. A little bit here and there. Like I said, it's all test and tune. You got that sweet spot and you just have to find it. So, uh, as a great man once said, whoa, Nelly, what a car. So I'll take that. I know I'm going to break into three twos. Just got to give it a little bit more time. But I tell you guys, what a great slot car. Looks good, runs good. I'm really happy. I hope this helped you guys. And uh, I look forward to hearing your race reports.